So hello everyone and thank you very much for clicking play on this video where I'm gonna show you how to create a 3D room in Sony Vegas Pro 11 so, or Sony Vegas Pro 10 so any version that have the 3D option you'll be able to create a 3D room so we're gonna begin by starting with creating a template okay that will be the first part of the tutorial so let's begin Okay, let's start by adding five tracks to our timeline. Okay, so just holding Control and Shift and Q. Okay, for the left we're gonna go red. For the right we're gonna go green. White for tops. Uh, black for bottoms. And background's gonna be blue. Okay, and we're gonna on compositing mode. We're just gonna change this to 3D source alpha in all the four of them. Okay, and now we go to track motion and we're going to start with the left panel. I'm trying to do here now is just match the size of the preview window there. Okay, this one. Let's do the top here now so we can match all this in one go. Torque the top, turn this one. So I turn in the left, which is the green off, so I can write work in the top bit now. Up there. Let's come this up to about Okay, now I need to go. It's about the right. I need to go back to the right one and put it the right side to match the angle of the top there. To do this, just by turning it to be more. Let's put it back. Now I can use my control key while recording because that will tell the recording programmer to do something else. So if you use the control key you can actually adjust that even more. Okay, so to match the corners there. So this way is just so you have the general idea how how we can do a, a 3D room. Okay, let's put it there, let's turn it until we get the right angle there. Hard to get a stick because I cannot use the control key. I 
okay, but I think you start to get the idea. And using the outline, not the inline, the outline to shorten. Now, actually, the good idea, the better idea is to, once you get one side, right side and top side then is to actually copy the values from your first settings. So you can copy all these values and then go to, to the other side, which would be the right side and the left side, and add the same values. And you pretty much should get these at some same angles. But in this tutorial, it's just giving you more of a general idea how it's done so how we can create a 3d room so let's do this one again that's the bottom bit need more turn there Okay, sketch still needs a lot of adjusting here, but this way you got, you know, now you know how we how it's done. But let me just adjust this here very quick here. So pause it for a bit and then we'll zoom so you can see we can actually get a nice, a nice alignment in the, in the corner. So I can use. You know, just gonna put it off a bit so I can use the control here. Okay, so I kind of went off screen here, and um, as you can see, it's all now nice and tidy. Uh, now, the other thing is, you know, if you want to get the background, in this case, it's the blue here, to move up and down, that's actually keyframes. Okay, to do that, you just move that thing down a little bit so you can see the exact time. And it's gonna be open. Okay, so I want him to open here. Then I want him to stay open for a bit, so I'm just gonna copy that keyframe to about there. Paste it, then move it a bit again. And then I want him to close. Okay, now if we click play. There it goes. That's how you create the 3D room. Now, once you create the template, you can then save it and then use it for other projects. So, let's say I want to change that to an image or anything else there. So, let's try the noise texture here. So, I'm gonna change the right side, the green, to a, to a, you know, this can be a picture. You can have an image or something that you make in, you can make in Photoshop, or whatever. And then just change it. All you have to do now is save the templates, and every time you need to do it, there is um, just a case of 
replace it. Uh, let me show you as well is um, how you get it moved. So to get to move it you can do is create a new insert a new video track and then make all as composite shells of a main one. Okay and uh, now don't change that to 3D because if you change that to 3D you mess it up. Okay so if that one has source alpha and this one here that's where you want to change that to 3D Okay, and then you go to your composite and you just add some movement. Okay, just something. It's me back there. About halfway. Something a little more. And then I suggest this Okay, so now just moving these keyframes. So that's gonna be very quick, but it should be okay. Click play, you can see everything's moved. Now you can make the walls even bigger if you want to, to see the room moving, the 3D room moving, and then the background appear on the behind. But there it goes, that's how you create a 3D room. So if you got any questions, please post it below, uh, like, comment and subscribe. I'm Jose Nunes, thanks for watching, bye bye for now.